You may have noticed this before. Someone is talking in a room over here, and someone else is listening in a room over here. You'll notice that voices sound kind of muffled through the wall. But if we open the window, my voice is clear as day. So how does sound exit one window, make a 180 degree bend, and come in through this window? That is the fascinating world of diffraction. <laughs> What happens when sound hits a window? Or more generally, what happens when a wave hits some sort of opening? Let's imagine a simple wave approaching a small gap in a wall just ahead. That's one fashionable wave. Because there's a gap, some of the wave can get through. But what does it look like on the other side? Does the wave continue in a straight line? Well, since there's nothing containing the wave on the other side of the gap, the wave expands in all directions. The wave looks as if it's radiating out from a single point. This is an example of Huygens' principle. That is, when a wave is disturbed, each point where there is a disturbance becomes the source of a spherical wave. A disturbance is simply whenever something's in the way. So when there's a small gap, that gap becomes a source for a spherical wave. For a large gap, every point along the gap becomes a source for a spherical wave. In either case, this is known as diffraction. A wave does crazy things because it ran into something. You can even try this at home. Just get a baking sheet and fill it with some water as such. Take a piece of cardboard, fold it in half, and tape the ends together. Then with two little walls, we can just stick them in our vat of water here creating a little gap in between the two. And if you create a wave on one side of it, no matter what you do uh, on one side of the cardboard obstruction, you can see that you get little circles coming out of the other side. You'll notice also there's a part of the wave that moves along your obstruction. Jumping back to the window, there is a part of the wave that moves along the wall. So sound can easily go out one window creep along the wall and climb right back in the other one. A little creepy, but kind of cool. Diffraction plays a huge part in the way we hear sound as waves scatter off of walls, through windows, around corners, and over hills. It's the things that disturb the waves that let sound fill our rooms, our ears, and our hearts. Thanks for watching this episode of Acoustics. You can follow me on your favorite social networking platform. Be sure to subscribe and get excited about sound. Mm -hmm.